Hi, my name is Dick Hirsch. I'm an SAP mentor. And today I am going to give you a quick demo of SAP's new collaborative um, process modeling tool, codename Gravity. It's in Streamwork, so I'm going to show you sort of an informal process. So I'm not going to do the, all the, the cool BPMIN stuff, but I want to show you how, sort of how you can use it as a, as a normal business user. So, I'm going to log on to Streamwork via my Google account. Sing sign on is active, so I can just hook up to it. So, here we go. I am going to create a new activity. Why don't we call it Gravity Test? Then I'm going to create it. So, there we have our decision, but we want to go to bring in the gravity tool into this. So we go to the tools catalog, go to the beta, and you'll see this is right here. This is the, the process flow beta tool. You can click on it, get all this cool information. We want to add it to the model. So now it's being added. So here you go. It's connecting. So, first of all, we want to do it full screen just because we need all the the space we, we need here. So, when we call it lunch, okay, this is the the model. So now, <clears throat> this is the the basic layout right here of the the, the modeling tool. This is your your canvas. These are all your cool buttons. They all have Tip, tool tips if you want to see what they are. So let's get started. So first we want to create a pool and then we want to have two lanes. So let's call this, this is my company. And then these are basically the different roles. We'll have uh, a manager and this is, let's say, a developer. Sorry for the typo there. Developer. So, and now we want to get going. So what are we talking about? We're talking about lunch. So let's do sort of the first thing. So first we want to create a nice start activity here that gets everything going. And now we want to create, see right here, this is... When you click over the item, this one sort of hover area pops up. We want to do an activity here. We want to do, move this down a little bit. This is what the task is. Decide which restaurant. I'm sorry, decide which cafe. So you guys don't see my type, my spelling problems here. So, and then we'll make this maybe a little bit bigger. So now someone else has to maybe decide where to order. So now I do another one. Sorry, right over here. This is for the developer. This is human. This is decide what to eat. See, and what you see here, okay, is you see certain things. Okay, I want to come up here and I'll show you some of the of the cool stuff. Okay, right now, um, I'm only doing it by myself. Okay, so there's not various contributors. There's not more than one contributor. That means that you won't be able to see the, the different colorings. But this right here, okay, if I had three people working on the process at once and because all the data is being pushed real time, this would be possible. Okay, then we could see who's been doing what. See all the little icons up here. This is more or less my my sign okay and we can see over here with the contribute list we can see that the blue little man is with richard hearst if four of the people were involved as well they would be listed here as well and they would have different colors now you can still see sort of um see sort of who's been doing what in in a collaborative environment that's pretty important so then let's go do something else right here i want to Put this on right here. Close this. So let's decide um, decide which cafe, decide which 
which um, what to eat and let's say now that we have to do another task okay I'm gonna do it like this it's an automatic task here sorry okay move this up here let's get this bigger here to get this down sorry okay so and you see here that maybe i can this is an automated task and then i say whoops this should be another task this should be human task then i come up here like this and i can change it like that okay that's now the difference okay i can also create maybe a new pool over here this is for Joe's Cafe. Can okay, I want to create another? Move this over here like this. So this is this is order clerk, and this is the cook. I have to say, wait a second, I made a mistake. Then you come up here and you can do undo. And I can go do and I can correct it. Okay, and now, for example, let me show you something else here. Now we want to see, come over here. So we want to do a new activity. And we say it's a human. Okay, and now what I will do, we'll leave this here. This is maybe take order this is maybe call in order okay and now we want to come up here and do check the validation okay and you'll see whoops all these dots here all these things are these are problems in my model okay you see for example this right here, okay, this enables you to, if you're doing a more, a model that should be um, exported to another tool, for example, there's validation things that have to take, that have to be taken into account. And these would enable you to create a model that's valid if you're going to export it, for example, and import it into um, NetWeaver BPM, code name, the old code, code name was Galaxy. So, now look at some of the other collaborative stuff. We don't want to see this here. So, I could, for example, if someone else was viewing this, okay, they could create a model. They could create a comment. Um, and this is a comment that everyone could be seeing in real time, okay, which is if you're... Um, three people are looking at the model at once, they could would, would deal with this, okay? And if, for example, I'm someone else and I want to make a, um, a point here, I can use the pen tool to circle things that I want to emphasize. Okay, that's it just for a very initial um, sort of view of the tool. Um, all the process related stuff because there are there are other events, there are various gateways. I didn't want to do this. I don't want to make this first view sort of too complicated. But hopefully this has given you sort of an idea of how to use the tool sort of in a very informal manner. Take a look. There's um, a blog from Alan describing how you can sign up for it. I'll post that in my blog as well. And I think it's a great tool. Sign up for the beta. That's it. Thanks. Bye.